Alright, so we are now at uh, part 6 of the Dark Souls walkthrough, and uh, we now have the ability to kindle bonfires up to 20 Estus Flasks. We also have this uh, pretty dope sword. Uh, so yeah, and uh, well, now we have to uh, go someplace called the Depths. Now, uh, to go here, we need something called the Basement Key. The Basement Key is, uh, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna show you where the Basement Key is, because we, I think we got the Basement Key on, like, video 2, I think video 2 of this series, we did get to the basement key. Uh, but uh, for right now, we're going to go to the depths, and then right after the depths, I'm going to look up how to do a bunch of upgrade stuff, and we're really going to uh, get ready for uh, Blight Town, which is the final area in early game, and then mid-game is basically going to be Sense Fortress, and then the place after that uh, that I don't want to spoil, because Sense Fortress, you know, it's pretty, like, boring, or not boring, but it's like, it's not as important as the next place, and I just don't want to spoil the place afterwards, but basically, before we go through uh, Sense Fortress, we want to get as OP as possible. And uh, what I'm going to be doing is getting myself as OP as possible. Now, getting OP is going to take a lot of work, uh, but honestly, it's going to be worth it. And uh, part of this video, um, I would also suggest uh, kind of figuring out... Uh, ways to uh, upgrade as much as you can before you go to Sense Fortress. There is going to be a soul farming method. Uh, I already showed you the soul method farming where you uh, aggro the uh, dragon and uh, when you aggro the dragon it shoots fireballs and that's basically what oh man I got shot right in the head and now there is blood coming out but anyway I already showed you uh, that one. Uh, yeah, this one right here that gives you 555 souls. Uh, you're going to have to do that a lot just to start leveling up, and it's just going to take too much time. So I really only recommend doing that if you need like weapons upgraded or anything like that. But uh, for right now, we are going to... Uh, I don't even know what I've got here. We're, we're going to the depths. And the depths is going to be a very annoying area. So, one thing that I mentioned on video 3, the video where we killed the bell gargoyles, is that we need a special item right here called a purging stone. Now, I'm going to take two. I'm going to be safe. I'm going to take two. I recommend you getting two. Uh, they should cost 3,000 each. Uh, by the guy uh, that is in the tower where you killed the bell gargoyles, but I do actually recommend getting at least two purging stones. Uh, there is an easier way to get these, or a more convenient way, a uh, more convenient place to go right by Firelink Shrine, uh, but they cost 6,000 souls at this point. Uh, so basically, they are 3,000 at one place and 6,000 at another. Um, but basically, we're going to go to an area where there are enemies that will uh, basically curse us. Uh, so anyway, now that I'm done explaining that, uh, we're going to go up this ladder. And if you haven't bought any purging stones, buy some purging stones, probably at least two. But anyway, you're going to want to come up here. You're going to want to actually come up here again and go to this area. We're going to aggro the dragon again just to get him uh, to fall off. 
or not fall off, but get down, and then we're going to run all the way back there. Again, the dragon might kill you once or twice with its fire. Uh, you know, because he's the dragon of bullshit. Uh, but anyway, now that he's down there, we're just... Uh, we got a titanite shard. Uh, I, I, I wanted that titanite shard. I really wanted that titanite shard. That's uh, That kind of did fuck me up right here a little bit. Uh, actually, did, yeah. Oh, fuck this dragon, bro. I fucking hate this dragon so much. I, I, yeah, there's no way I'm gonna make it. Yeah, fuck this dragon. Yeah, whatever. I'm just, I'm just gonna go the long way. I hate going the long way, but I'm gonna go the long way just because this dragon just breathes, uh, fireballs at you and, uh, long way. Oh yeah, that's right. I don't know why I'm going with these uh, ladders. Oh, uh, you want to go the long way. So the long way, you come out here. You're going to kill this guy. Basically, the long way is just what we did with the Taurus demon in like, the very first video that uh, we made. The very, very first video. Which was yesterday. I have made two videos yesterday. Uh, and this is the fourth video today that I've made, and each video is anywhere from 35 minutes to 56 minutes long, and I don't know how long this one is going to be. So, so yeah, I've been uh, really, uh, like, I've just been, like, spam uploading, pretty much, because, oh, fuck, are you kidding me? I hate these guys. Whatever. Let's kill these guys. Kill this guy right here. You know what would be funny, actually? Like, I've been raging for the uh, past video, and there's going to be a lot more raging. I'm thinking I should just uh, take my Dark Souls uh, raging moments from this series and just put it into a compilation and just be like Dark Souls Rage Compilation. I think people would actually watch that. Just me yelling obscenities at the game. That would be uh, pretty funny, actually. Okay, I don't know where this guy came from. Uh, but fuck him and fuck him. All right. Actually, there's a Black Knight down here. I'm going to kill the Black Knight. Uh, I didn't do it earlier in the game because uh, earlier in the game we were going to die to him. But we're going to kill this Black Knight. Hopefully he drops his item. Uh, and by the way, I think the reason I was confused is because uh, about these uh, weapon drops. If you get a Black Knight weapon drop, uh, use it. Use the Black Knight weapon. They are very, very good. But I think... The reason I got confused is because I think in Dark Souls Remastered, the item drops are actually increased. I could be wrong on that, but I think that in Dark Souls Remastered, and I normally play Dark Souls Remastered, I'm only playing this version because I just beat Dark Souls Remastered on uh, PlayStation. And uh, I kind of want to play the original Dark Souls as well as you know Dark Souls Remastered. That's basically the only reason I'm doing it. It's because, well, I already beat the remastered version, but, uh, yeah. And we only got a Titanite chunk, of course, that's all we fucking got. But, oh, we're gonna go down here. And we got a blue tear stone ring. What does that do again? Okay, so it boosts your defense while your HP is low, so... You can now use that. Okay. All right, let's kill this guy. Yep, we're just 
traveling the long way. I hate traveling the long way, but I really hate that dragon. Yep, and we're just gonna run through here. And I'm not even gonna bother killing the archers. There should be, let's see. Oh yeah, they're there. They're trying to shoot arrows at us right now. Oh, and look, we even got hit. Whatever, though. Uh, those guys are really only that dangerous if you're fighting the Taurus demon anyway, so. Uh, whatever. We're gonna go down here. And we're gonna walk over here, nice and simple. We're gonna use our basement key to open this up. And now, uh... Right, yeah, the basement key, uh, if you don't have the basement key, you can look up where to get it. We got it in part two, I believe, uh, but look up where to get the basement key. If you missed it, it's basically, it's basically by that gate, uh, that is behind the ball. There's a place where you can open the gate, just, if you don't have the basement key, just, uh, go to another video on YouTube and look up where to get basement key and just uh, follow that. I already got it in the second video and I assume most people uh, playing along while watching this uh, already uh, actually did this. But, uh, but yeah, just in case you haven't, I mean, you know, you can play the game however you want really this is just this is just a guide like a recommendation uh before we go down there actually we're gonna go up here and uh we're gonna go all the way up here and uh now if we open this door congratulations we are in this room and that is our bonfire and actually i'm gonna go to the bonfire just because uh this area is painful to walk through i really hate walking through part of this area because there are enemies that really like to sneak up on you and ambush you. So, oh, I don't even have kind of essence here. I didn't even handle it that much. Uh, hmm. I don't know if I want to use humanity actually on that. I have 12, technically 14 if you count the, uh, the, uh, twin humanities. And I'm just... Uh, you can, uh, I mean, what I would recommend doing, actually, because, uh, some of you guys watching, uh, are gonna be new, and if, if you're new to the game, these bosses are going to be harder. I've already beaten these bosses, so I'm not gonna be kindling bonfires as much, but I don't recommend kindling a bonfire until you're at a challenging part where you need more Estus Flask. So if you're stuck on a boss, or you're if you're approaching a boss, uh, even if it's a really hard one, I recommend first trying to beat the boss with uh, five Estus Flask, and if that doesn't work, just you know start kindling it up, uh, because you do have limited humanities, and uh, yeah, I I don't really need too many. Uh, not really trying to brag, but oh shit, I just fell off. Ugh. You know, when that happens, I was just trying to get down and somehow I uh, jumped off by mistake. Well, but anyway, uh, when you beat the game, all the bosses are like a lot easier. So yeah, the next boss we're going to fight uh, is actually the first boss I ever beat in a Soulsborne game on my first try. Uh, most bosses I do not beat on my first try, but this next boss we're about to kill in a little bit. I actually was able to beat him on my first try. So, anyway, we're going to go down here and not fall off like I did earlier. Uh, what's he? Oh no, right, yeah, that's just... That's just where we came down originally. We don't need to go up there at all. We're going to go down here. And these dogs are really annoying. Uh, okay, they do die with the Gravelord Sword, though. And that guy just uh, jumped into a pit of fire. Uh, but these dogs can poison you. Uh, you definitely want a shield here. Uh, just like, you know, you want a shield, actually, uh, during the whole game. But especially here, because they will poison you. We're going to go back here first, and, uh, yeah, going 
back here is going to be easier. Um, I also did buy a residence key, which is also going to be useful. You do want to buy a residence key. It's not technically required. Uh, the basement key is required, but the residence key isn't. But the residence key can unlock a guy in here that gives you sorceries. Now, I'm not a sorcerer build. It's not going to be as much use, but I am still going to try to collect all the sorceries I can to get the achievement for collecting sorceries. Uh, towards the end of the game, actually, I'm going to do a lot of uh, soul farming off camera just uh just because you guys probably don't want to watch me farm souls for uh for like hours but yeah we got another twin humanity so that will give you uh two more right there uh twin humanities are basically just humanities but you have to use two at a time uh, but anyway we're gonna we're gonna knock on some doors back here actually before we continue i don't know which door it is so i'm just gonna knock on every single door uh you don't have to do that you just have to knock on the door that uh i choose to or the whichever one actually works i think it's this one right here yeah this door right yeah we found him quickly so this guy uh, i'm just gonna break these barrels just for the hell of it uh this guy actually gives you sorcerer hat, sorcerer cloak, sorcerer gauntlets, and sorcerer boots. And we also got a sorcerer's catalyst. Uh, so yeah, we're going to talk to this guy. And we're just going to exhaust his dialogue. Basically, we're going to keep talking to him until he says the same thing over and over. And uh, once he does that, he's, uh, he's going to come up to Firelink Shrine, and you can buy sorceries from him. Uh, so if you are uh, using a sorcerer build in the game, you are going to want to uh, unlock him. Uh, and uh, likewise, if you are trying to get as many achievements as possible, there is an achievement for collecting every sorcery. So if you are trying to 100% the game, uh, you are going to want to get that guy no matter what. If you're trying to 100% the game. I'm just, uh, I'm probably going to try to 100% this game because it's a really good game. It's going to take a long time to do so. It's not really going to be fun, but, uh, but I just really like uh, this game. Yeah, we also are going to have to get all uh, miracles as well to 100% the game and that getting all miracles is also going to be very very hard. Uh, I might just get all the miracles on, I might just play this game again as a faith build. I might even make a new series on YouTube where it's like it's like this series but I'm just playing as a faith build. And hey, maybe then we can have a better quality video. I'm still trying to figure out, like, the quality aspect of everything. And, uh, because I do plan on playing Dark Souls Remastered at some point. Like, if I ever blow up on YouTube and I get millions of subscribers, if it happens someday, which I hope it does, uh, once I'm actually famous, I can make, like, an actual, uh, Dark Souls walkthrough on the remastered version and actually have it be much higher quality. But anyway, we're off to our next boss and this boss uh, We're gonna traverse the white light this boss. It's not too difficult We just have to kill these two dogs first. These two dogs make it a little bit more difficult when you Okay, and I'm actually I died here. Fuck Oh, eh, whatever At least we can always come back. Uh, these dogs are gonna be the hardest thing to deal with, uh, because they're going to distract you, and, uh, that's going to become a problem. Oh, man, I hate killing all these fucking enemies, like, every time I go through this area, because they just follow you, you have to just kill a certain number, I think, oh, see, yep, this fucker is coming back, too, just, uh, just to do it, it's just really time-consuming, um, 
just to kill all these enemies. Like, it's not hard, it's not difficult, it's just annoying because it wastes time, and I hate wasting time. Uh, okay, well, I fell off. Uh, but, you know, it didn't take too much damage. Uh, so, whatever, we're just... We're gonna head back to the boss, and, uh... I really hate these. These dogs are, like, really aggressive. And I think if you have the Drake Sword, I think that they're not even that, uh... That easy to kill, because I'm one-shotting these with, uh, the sword I'm currently using. But I don't even think it's that simple to, uh... Do with the Drake Sword. Like, I think the Drake Sword... Actually... Uh, needs uh, to actually attack the enemy twice to kill. Okay, oh, see, I fucking hate these things, because they just, they show up, like, after your, and these guys, too, will sometimes parry you, and then do this, like, bullshit attack, where they just take out, like, half your health. It's, like, really, really annoying, and I just, I hate these things, just because they sneak up behind you, and attack, and it is really annoying. These guys are assholes, and just really annoying to deal with. Uh, not terribly difficult to kill, it's just when you have a lot of them, especially when you have dogs on their side too, also trying to fucking kill you, it just, it just adds up. Yeah, cause seriously, this fucking dog here is just making my life a lot harder. I might also... Yeah, this this may be a boss uh, that you might want to kindle up uh, your fire for. Because, uh, yeah, I only have three Estus left. Uh, for the sake of not making this drag out, uh, if I die again, I'm just gonna kindle a uh, fire. I'm just gonna kindle the bonfire if I I can just just because I don't want to keep trying to because normally I would just keep dying and keep dying and fuck seriously these dogs are yeah whatever I'm just gonna get more S to see these dogs just like they're they're not hard to kill it's just they keep distracting you or while you're trying to kill the Capra demon but I'm gonna show you how to. Get up to plus 20. <sighs> do, 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 do. Why not? Why not use the twin humanities? Why not use two of them? I'm gonna get this up to plus 20. We're just gonna reverse hollowing if, obviously, if you still have your humanity, you don't have to use a humanity to get your humanity back. But we're just going to kindle this fire three times. There we go. And now we have plus 20. Oh yeah. Now it's just a matter of, uh, we have enough Estus, it's just a matter of using it in time. Yeah, one of the things, actually, that I like about, uh, Bloodborne is in Bloodborne you can really quickly heal. Dark Souls, uh, it, it takes... A little while, although it's much better in Dark Souls than Dark Souls 2. I just hate how like Estus takes a while to uh, consume. It's just like in Bloodborne, like if you consume like healing products in Bloodborne, it's just immediate. You heal, and it's not like enemies can attack you, but in Dark Souls 2 it's actually really, really bad. Dark Souls 2 is a horrible game, honestly. It's it's not good. Dark Souls 3 is good. Dark Souls 1 is really good. Uh, Dark Souls 2 it, it's not. Uh, Dark Souls 2 does have its fans. Uh, not sure why it has its fans. Um, uh, I'm currently trying to beat Dark Souls 2. I've never beaten it. Uh, 
but uh, unless you're a really big Dark Souls fan, I would recommend just uh, sitting that one out, honestly, because it's much harder, and it's it's harder in the sense that there's just more bullshit. It's not actually skill that's required, but uh, yeah, there's a mail breaker in here. You can obtain uh, anything else, actually, in these rooms that I missed. No, okay. Anything here? Nope. All right. Come on. Come out. Come out and play. Oh, man. There are... Now we have two dogs. Two of these guys. Or three of them, but... Uh, here we go. Double kill. So yeah, the reason why Dark Souls 2 is bad is because uh, every time you die, your health goes down, and basically you have to restore your humanity to get your health back, and your health basically just depletes to 50%. Like, it slowly goes down each time you die, like, very slowly, but you die a lot in Dark Souls. So as you can imagine, it really quickly goes down halfway, and you have to actually use an effigy rather than a humanity in Dark Souls 2 use a different item. But anyway, let's kill this boss now. Now that we're to him, and of course he does this fucking uppercut attack. Well, whatever, we're gonna run up here first. Ah, oh, fuck these dogs. Drink. Drink, 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 drink. Kill this fucking dog right here first. Uh, oh, look, we even got some good damage off the uh, demon while wiping at the dog. Drink, 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 drink. Yeah, these dogs are gonna wanna kill. Ah. Oh. Seriously. Yeah, okay, there we go. There we go, we're good now. Now we're soloing the actual demon. There we go. I actually uh, beat this guy on, uh, on my very first playthrough of the game. First try, and... Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, see, this is doing considerable damage. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, see our new sword uh, does considerable damage against uh, this boss. And we got a humanity and a homeward bone. And uh, I'm going to use a homeward bone actually just because, and I would recommend you using a homeward bone too, just because, you know, I don't want to lose all these souls. That's basically why. I can level up once. Let's see, let's get up. Man, you know, my vitality, like, my strength is high enough, but I I need to get up my vitality and my endurance, too, though. But I need I need my strength up. So, yeah, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go for vitality, just because it is useful to have more. And, you know, I'm just gonna use this item. Yeah, we're at 4,000. We're just gonna need to use, like, two more of those. Uh, thankfully, our next boss uh, gives us, I think, like, 40,000 uh, souls, so uh, that's gonna be good. But yeah, after uh, the next boss we're gonna kill is a... is gonna be the final boss we kill before I do my video after that. Uh, I might just cram that boss into this video. Maybe not. I don't know yet. It depends on certain factors. Uh, but what I'm looking at doing for the next video after this is I'm going to kill the boss. And then basically before we continue on through Light Town, which is an area later in the game. I'm going to show you, I'm going to do some research on how to level up, and uh, I'm going to level up. But thankfully, we already found the sorcerer, so for you guys out there that are running sorcery builds, we already found your guy. We're going to find our pyromancer build, and pyromancy, by the way, pretty much any build can use it, uh, except for, like, the, the only downside, like, the only group that can't use a uh, can't use 
pyromancy is anybody who has a low attunement. If you start out as a warrior class, for example, you're going to have to get your attunement up, I think, like two levels uh, just to get uh, one attunement slot. Like, you just won't be able to use attunement at all. I think, actually, uh, how many slots do I have, actually? I'm going to go check that. Because I do want to get a couple attunement slots. I need, I need at least two for a special pyromancy I plan on using, but I think, I think pyromancer starts out with two anyway, and that guy just snuck up behind me, I was gonna take, like, uh, some of my health, like that. So yeah, these guys will do that, it's real annoying. Uh, yeah, just, uh, come here. Yeah, we're just, uh, the only reason why we... Homeward boned out of there is uh, so we could level up. Anyway, we're just going back down and we're on our way to the next boss. And uh, okay, yep, forgot about all these fuckers. Oh. We're about to. Uh, okay, we're in the boss room now. And oh, look, those dogs respawn because, of course. Of course they fucking do. Why would anything ever go well in Dark Souls? I'm probably... No, I'm not gonna... No, I, I'm probably gonna die. I'm probably dead now. Just because I I made the mistake of uh, rushing through the area. And I forgot to uh, watch out for uh, those couple of guys. And now they're all ganging up on me. So, you know. Um, actually, I'm, I might make it out one. No, I'm not making out. Yep, see, all of that, I just died. Because I uh, thought I was done with all the enemies, and there were more enemies right in front of me. Make one mistake in this game, and you're fucked. It's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, yeah, I just, I fucking hate killing all these guys before going back down here. I just really hate doing it. Give me your bitch. Okay, I don't have a fucking day. Come on. Oh, okay, and that guy got aggro. Whatever, I'm just... I'm going through. I don't even care. He's just gonna catch up to me, but at that point, I might as well kill all these guys. Okay. Let's see. Is he... Actually, he might not be coming... Ah, uh, no, he's not coming up there. I think we got far enough away from him. Oh, wait, no, no, don't, don't jump off. Okay, I almost jumped off there. We're going down. Going down to uh, the depths. That's the area that we're going down. I think, I think this area that we're currently in is called the Lower Berg. Uh, but we're going to another big area called uh, the Depths, which is actually one of uh, the most hated areas. I wouldn't say most hated, but it's not its not a happy or fun place, although really no area Dark Souls is. Okay. Alright, make sure no one is behind us, and we're going to have to make sure not to run through this area again. But yeah, while we're down here, though, we are going to rescue a pyromancer, and uh, that will allow us to buy more pyromancies and level up our pyromancy flame, which is going to be very beneficial for later on in the game, especially before we go to Sense Fortress, and... Uh, And now we're just, uh, I'm just getting my blood, uh, or not my blood, my souls back. I mean, it, it's a blood stain though, so, yeah. Yeah, we're just, uh, 
we're getting that back. And uh, basically the area that we're going to next is going to be close to this area where the Capra Demon was. This could be right out here. It's really, really easy to miss. In fact, uh, my last couple of playthroughs, I've had to look up where it is and it's just, it's right here. This is where it is. You have to go down these uh, stairs. Uh, and when you go down these stairs, uh, you're going to see this guy right here. There's actually someone right here trying to ambush you. So, yeah. See, we're not going to let them do that, though. But, yeah, they will, uh, as you're going to attack this guy, that one will just uh, jump up onto you and uh, cause some damage. It is uh, really annoying. But anyway, we are going to get... Uh, a large soul of a lost undead right there and is it this yes this area now before we go here this is where we're going but before we go to the depths we're gonna go up here and uh, it is important to go up here because basically we are going to go back to firelink shrine everything in this game comes back to firelink shrine it's actually amazing uh, but you're going to go, I think it's this door, right? Yeah. So anyway, to your right, you're going to see this guy. This guy can sell you some useful items. I'm going to buy, while I'm here, I'm going to buy just a couple of uh, these blooming purple moss clumps. I'm going to buy four of them. Uh, they're a thousand souls each, but this is for Blight Town. Um, and basically, uh, when we get to Blight Town, uh, I don't want to spoil too much of it, but let's just say that, uh, we want to use, uh, we, we want to buy these items. And this is also a, uh, so, yeah, uh, the gate we just opened is basically, uh, it's basically just that gate that, uh, goes up here if, uh, if you go all the way here, like through there, that's that area at the very beginning of the game. We basically just unlocked another shortcut. Since this game doesn't really allow you to travel between bonfires, uh, at least yet in the game, uh, it is very useful to have a bunch of shortcuts. And Firelink Shrine is just a place where you can really go to all the areas really quickly and that is actually beneficial for having a game where you can't just warp between areas at the start. Other Dark Souls games aren't as interconnected and uh, the reason why is just because you can teleport between bonfires. I mean in Dark Souls you can also do that but you need to you can teleport between bonfires in Dark Souls, but you have to uh, reach a certain point in the game. You have to kill a really hard boss before actually doing it. So for the entirety of early game and mid game, you are basically uh, stuck uh, walking to each area. You just need to go on foot. Imagine if like, Elden Ring was like that, imagine, like, Elden Ring being, like, the huge world map that it has, you just had to, like, walk everywhere, that would just really, really suck. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we're gonna go down here, and while we're here, we're also going to, we're gonna do a couple of things here, we're first gonna kill this guy, oh, and by the way, um, you can go back to Firelink Shrine to meet up with the sorcerer and buy better sorceries at this point before going down here if you'd like. I'm just, I'm not doing that just because I'm not a sorcerer build. But anyway, we're going to go here. You know, maybe I should make a Dark Souls tutorial for like each, uh, each main ability. Okay, so we're going to drop down here, and this is going to be the room where our uh, Pyromancer is. Now, basically, you can break barrels by rolling into them. You can also break them by 
obviously hitting them with the weapon, but this guy right here, we don't want to hit him, but we do want to free him. So to be safe, we're just going to roll into him because we can't actually do any damage. And if you hit him, he's going to get aggroed. And uh, if you do hit him by mistake, again, uh, do not kill him. Just walk away from him. He will be angry with you, but you're going to have to uh, resolve a sin by going back up to uh, to the guy at the uh, bell tower where we killed the bell gargoyles. But you're going to have to make your way all the way there. But uh, we're just going to talk to him a couple of times, exhaust his dialogue. Next time we're at Firelink Shrine, he is going to be there. And we're going to be able to level up our Pyromancy Flame. We're going to be able to buy some more Pyromancies. Uh, it's also going to help us get the achievement of all Pyromancies. Uh, so this is a Butcher. Uh, I don't think these things respond. Uh, yeah, they're, they're not too tricky to kill. Although nothing's really tricky for me to kill in the game anymore because I've played it so many times but uh i mean all of that really means though is that uh i don't have a life outside of uh video games pretty much i have like no social life and i just play <laughs> dark souls pretty much i just play dark souls and then do online college classes that's basically why i'm so good at the game because i don't really do anything else i don't play sports or anything i just play really difficult video games uh that make me very very angry but anyway uh okay let's just try to kill this guy yeah because i have like i have the will to try to kill a boss for six hours straight and uh I can actually do that, uh, whereas most people would probably just quit after not having enough time or just getting frustrated, but uh, yeah, you're never going to beat Dark Souls if you quit, remember that. And plus two, beating Dark Souls, you really want to beat this game if you're a gamer because it carries immense weight to it, right? That is That is a brag a really crazy brag to say that you literally beat dark souls like people are just they're gonna think you're really really good at gaming if you beat the game pretty much uh, but anyway you are gonna want to open this chest here it gives you a large ember i'm gonna show you what to do with that uh so yeah we're gonna go up these stairs And actually, no, we're we're just we're just backtracking. No, that's where we go. Okay, I think we're in the right area. We just I just have to find where to get out at. I think it's is it here? No, no, we don't want to go down there. Actually, that that's not what we want to do. We want to where is it? I might just have to look around a little bit, but there's a nice little tunnel that takes us where we are supposed to go I think it should be around okay there it is I think this is the door I'm gonna open the door and yep there it is it's this door right here and uh, this is uh, this is the first part of the game where it starts to basically play tricks on you it's basically uh, the first part of the game where you start to have a bunch of booby traps. Uh, the booby traps actually go up a ton once you get to Sense Fortress, which is not going to be anytime soon, trust me. Actually, no, it'll be soon. It'll be like two uh, videos from now, but we are going to start leveling up first. But anyway, this right here is going to be a trap, and I... Oh, okay, I was trying to... Oh, there, uh, these things, uh, they look like giant boogers, uh, that might actually be what they are. Um, I don't know the name of this enemy, I just know it looks like a giant booger, which is, uh, really, really disgusting. Um, just like, 
a human-sized booger that moves around like that. That's just gross. Uh, this whole area is actually just gross. Um, a lot of those guys will actually uh, fall from the top. I think some of these areas here might have invisible walls. I always check like in areas like this for invisible walls because there are many invisible walls in this game that of course hide valuables and uh yeah right, well we're gonna go through here we two okay good we're to our next bonfire or like really close to it anyway on the wall here you're gonna have a bunch of these you can just run past like so uh that one fell on me ah oh, fuck okay if something falls on you, I believe you press uh, your right buttons and your left buttons, uh, like just left, right, left, right, uh, in order to uh, to get them off quicker. Uh, this door, we need the master key to open apparently. My guess is that there is another way here, but we're going to light this bonfire right here and... Uh, yeah, this area is basically a giant maze, and this is also an area where you can uh, very easily get cursed. Um, that's why we collected two purging stones already. So these right here, if we get cursed, what is basically going to happen is your life is going to go down. It's going to split in half, meaning that you're only going to have half of your available HP until the curse is lifted. You need one of these, a purging stone to undo it uh, so that's why we picked up two because um, now that we're down here we're actually going to risk getting um, we're going to risk getting cursed now if you do get cursed um, you're going to need to buy those and on my first playthrough of the game I was just wandering around here and uh, I got cursed I had to look up how uh, to get uncursed and I eventually had to grind for 6,000 souls before coming back here. That's why it's best to uh, just uh, take them with you and also buy them from uh, that guy in the uh, Bell Gargoyle Tower. But anyway, uh, well, there's probably not a lot here. Uh, but this is going to be our main bonfire now. So now that we go through here, we just need to kill this guy. Let him die. We're going to go down here now. And, uh, alright. So this, there's going to be a shortcut later to the next boss. Uh, we can't open this yet. It doesn't open from this side. But once we get to the other side, uh, we can come down here to get a really nice, uh, shortcut to the boss. Uh... All right, now, there are going to be some rats here, but there is going to be a pretty good weapon you can obtain. I think it's the Great Axe. Yep, it is. The Great Axe is actually a really good weapon to have. It does require a fair bit of strength, though, so it is really only good for having a strength build. Uh, yeah, we're just going to continue running. Uh, through here, uh, that rat just, uh, these rats will, uh, give you poison or toxic, one of the two, uh, I think the difference between poison and toxin is that toxin, uh, is just more dangerous than poison, but I think the rats just give you poison or maybe toxic, I don't know, either way, the rats, uh, give you something, uh, that you don't want. Still not as bad as, uh, getting hit with a basilisk, and you may be wondering, well, what's the basilisk? Uh, do you mean those things from Harry Potter? Uh, unfortunately not. The basilisks we are fighting are actually more terrifying than the basilisk from Harry Potter, or from the uh, mythology they're from. I'm not sure which mythology, but a basilisk is basically just, I don't know why they're called basilisks, but we're going to see some, and I'm going to point them out so you can uh, take a look at them. I would uh, highly recommend if this is, oh yeah, we do want this uh, sewer key, by the way, which we can collect right here. We do need uh, the sewer key, but 
Um, I'm going to show you what they are. Uh, I recommend you just steer very clear away from them because they only appear if you fall down certain areas. And these basilisks, they are creepy and they curse you. They shoot out a mist that gives you that curse I was talking about earlier where half your life goes down. We really don't want that. Uh, but anyway, we're going to go through here. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to avoid them. Uh, you do want to avoid them for the most part. Uh, thankfully, uh, in case you fall down any wrong areas, though, hopefully you have a purging stone. But if you don't have a purging stone at all, uh, yeah, you should uh, really stay clear of them if you don't. Uh, Anyway, this guy is another magic sorcery guy right here. He he uh, is non-respawnable, and he actually did a fair bit of damage to me just now. That was actually kind of crazy. Uh, more rats here. Ah, uh, oh, fuck, I got poisoned. Yep. Oh, man, I'm just... Ah, oh, fuck it, I'm just gonna use... Use one of these things uh, that I bought. There we go. Poison's gone. That's how we uh, cure poison. Although I don't want to use too many of those because there will be a point later on in the game where uh, we really need those uh, purple moss clumps. And you're going to want to like stock up on like you know probably at least twenty of them. Uh, so. You know, you are going to want to grind souls, but anyway, you are you are going to want to come back here and get a uh, large titanite shard. That's an upgrade weapon. Pretty easy one to obtain. Uh, so yeah, you just need to go over there. And uh, alright, we're going to kill this rat. And uh, alright, now this area, this is kind of a maze, so we're going to go right first. And this rat right here, I believe he is this the one that runs. So this right here, this is the area you don't want to go into. I'm going to go into it to show you what happens when you go into it. And I also think there are a few items you can get, uh, but I'm hopefully not going to get cursed. Uh, because if you get cursed, you actually immediately die. And in addition to immediately dying, you, uh, you lose, like half your health, and it doesn't matter how many times you die after that, you just lose half your health. Uh, so anyway, a uh, fair bit of warning, these guys that are down here are very creepy. Uh, these guys uh, are actually terrifying. Uh, they are actually more terrifying looking than uh, that Momo hoax that happened in 2019, if anybody remembers that. Uh, just know these creatures called basilisks are uh, more disturbing looking than that. Uh, so we're going to hop down here. I don't recommend hopping down here if it's your first time at all. Because there it is. Say hi to your basilisk. This guy shoots that mist. We're going to stay the fuck away from it so we don't get cursed. We're going to kill this guy. And uh, yeah, that's basically what it is. They have big ass eyes. That uh, These are actually fake eyes. Uh, they have actual eyes like somewhere else on them but these big eyes are actually terrifying looking uh, every time i look at these things i actually get like some actual just creeped out anxiety like it's actually that creepy oh man i see look at those terrifying creatures right there those those are just horrifying uh that's not something you want to see in your dreams or uh anywhere for that matter uh Alright, let's... Although we did get a soul of a nameless soldier, I'm gonna get out my little pyro flame. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna lure this guy. We're gonna aggro him. We're gonna try to get him to come across here. We're gonna try to get him to follow us, and then we're gonna hit him with this fireball. Because I want to keep my distance. Mainly because they're creepy, but also because of the curses they do. Yeah, or pyro. Okay, too close for comfort. Too close. Okay, he went back there. I thought he went towards me. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. Get fired. There we go. Oh shit, I'm in the mist. I'm in the mist. I'm in the mist. Okay, okay, wow. See that, that curse thing that just showed up? That skeleton? And that's a curse. If that 
bar goes all the way up and it's really easy for that bar to go all the way up, you're fucked. That's how that works. Yeah, I really don't want that uh, going up as you can imagine. I'm Again, I really don't recommend anyone playing this game for the first time to go down here doing this, uh, unless you are for a challenge. Uh, if you do want a challenge, uh, then go ahead. It's going to be harder. It's going to be annoying dealing with these guys, but, uh, you know, I'm not going to tell you what to do, obviously. Uh, you know, you can make your own decisions in this game. All I can give is recommendations. Uh, but if you want to, uh, you know, go ahead. Uh, I'm not stopping you. I'm not. I'm not even going to tell you it's a bad idea, actually. If you want to, go do it. I just, I wouldn't recommend it if it's your first time playing. But if, if you really want to, uh, do it. Uh, just the only time I would really say you really, really, really shouldn't is if you have no purging stones on you. Which, you know, you should have hopefully got, okay, 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 okay. Whoa, as you can see, I'm avoiding that mist. Like it's the fucking plague. Yep. We're avoiding that mist as hard as possible. Okay, there's one more basilisk we have to deal with. Okay. These guys are alive. I think I can kill them both with one. We're just gonna... Aha! Spawn kill. Well, not really spawn kill, but... You know, pretty similar to spawn killing anymore. I think there's one... Yeah, there's, there's, there's that guy right there. Hi, bitch. Come here. Okay, did I aggro him? I don't think he's aggroed. I... I'm gonna come over here. Gonna... Okay, there's two, actually. We're just gonna... You're dead. Yay. Best way to kill these guys is like so. And just in case I run out of pyromancies, I'm gonna just equip uh, some fire bombs. Just in case uh, more of these guys show up. Okay, so this this looks like something good, but there's also another area we can fall into. Uh, let me, okay, we're gonna have to have to jump. There we go. All right, that's oh, that's just one humanity. Okay, I would not have done that. If, I thought that was gonna be like a powerful ring or something that was. Uh, Actually, good, okay. Although that would have probably just made us go down here. I mean, we're already exploring this area anyway, so it's not like any of this really matters if you follow that much. Um, oh, oh shit, is that- oh, no more! I thought I killed them all! No, 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 no. As you can see, I'm very scared of these things just because of how they look. And in addition to how they look, I'm also scared of getting cursed. So it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of like, you know, a, uh, what do they drop though? Uh, before they drop that guy, oh, that motherfucker is chasing me too. Oh man, this is, this game is getting stressful. Get my black. Or not my black fireballs, just my regular fireballs, and we're just we're gonna get away from that guy. Surprise, motherfucker! Yep, that's how we deal with you. I ran out of pyromancy, so uh, I just did that. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna see what these guys drop, though. An eye of death. Okay, so I I don't I don't know too much about the eye of death. I just know you need at least one to uh, go down that coffin route area. All right, well now we're, we're going to go to the first floor. Now there's a there's a corpse just laying down here. Now this area isn't all too amazing. Really at all. I really don't like this, uh, this underground zone. I don't like the depth. Uh, I, I mainly don't like them because of the basilisks. Uh, but we do have a ring of the evil eye. I'm going to go take a look at that and see what it does, because it, it might be good. I think absorbs HP. From, actually, I'm going to test that out. I'm gonna, going to equip it to see how useful it actually is, but this is basically... Oh, this is like that uh, Insecuro. There's actually 
an ability you can gain that actually absorbs your enemy's uh, health when you kill them. So I'm going to put on the ring and I'm going to see how beneficial it is. But I guess when we kill enemies now, we're going to uh, boost health up a little bit. Okay, I'm going to, I'm just going to go down here one more time just in case. I don't think I missed any. Yeah, I, didn't, I don't think I really missed anything. But yeah, that's actually, that is a dope sounding ring though. We had to kill a bunch of these uh, really pesky, pesky uh, basilisks. Uh, but yeah, if you accidentally fall down here, uh, just uh, just do what I did and kill all of these guys with ranged weapons. Um, they're really not easy to kill. Okay, now we just have a rat to deal with. Okay, I think we're... Hmm. Where are we? I think, I think more of these guys might show up. Uh, you know, I don't know which of these may or may not be invisible walls. None of them may actually be invisible walls, but uh, I am going to check. Just because there are always goodies behind invisible walls, always. Okay, doesn't look like much right there. Another rat. Thankfully, right now we aren't seeing too many more. Basilisks, which uh, makes me happy. We are seeing a bit of rats, but uh, rats just poison you. They don't uh, they don't do anything too bad. I mean, rats really aren't hard to kill at all. It's just these guys, these creepy looking guys. Oh man, we're already like going in at like an hour. All right, longest video we've done so far, but whatever. We're gonna. I mean, I'm kind of doing this in longer sessions too. Like these videos are gonna be, uh, they're gonna take a considerable amount of time to watch each one, but uh, but we're uh, we're we're home. We're to the right area, and uh, if you don't want to go down the basilisk route, uh. We are to the area where we want to be, but I did kind of go in a way that is going to be more difficult. So anyway, I'm going to show you exactly uh, how to get here. And first, actually, I'm going to look at... Uh, okay, so it's going to be the left side, okay. Um, so basically, I'm going to show you how to get down here a lot easier. This right here, this is going to be our shortcut um, to the bonfire, but we're, we're going to go right here. Uh, to the bonfire, and I'm just going to show you how to get to that area without uh, slipping down there. So anyway, that is one way we can get down there. But anyway, our, our bonfire is up there. So basically, how you're going to want to get down there is you're going to want to go straight through here. We already killed all these enemies, but you're going to want to go right here kill any enemies that are here obviously you're going to want to come down here and you can actually avoid basilisks entirely you're going to want to eh, it doesn't look oh, oh that's right you're going to want to come down here uh this is where we just fell down you're going to want to avoid that for the most part if you are new to the game um but that's basically the route we went. The easy route is basically just going that way, going here, coming down here. Oh, it looks like one of these rats uh, dropped a humanity. Uh, so yeah, these rats actually drop humanities. Um, if you want to get more humanities, you can basically farm humanities just by killing a bunch of rats over and over again. Uh, eventually, you will get a considerable amount of them that way and uh, that can be very very useful but anyway you're going to want to come here you don't want to make a right i don't think i think you just want to go straight there are multiple ways you can go through here you're going to have one of these annoying enemies right here these guys aren't hard to kill they're just slow and annoying you don't want them too close to you because they do do some damage, uh, but really they're not the most hard thing to kill. 
in this game. But yeah, we're just going to go to the... Oh, 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 oh. That is another way to fall into the pit of death. Okay, well, whatever. Oh, yay. Okay, well, we get to leave the pit of death again, and I get to show you that all over again. I did not know that led to a pit of death. Um, yeah, don't go that way. Um, I think you're actually supposed to make a right first, and then a left, and then um, all of that. We're going to... Oh, man, we're going to do that again. I'm going to go down here. Ooh, I think there might be an invisible wall. Nope. Huh, that, that looks like a place that they would hide an invisible wall, but I guess not. Um, it's actually kind of interesting. There was no hidden wall there. Uh, but anyway, we're going to go... All the way out that we came. Okay. Well. We're back here again. Ta-da! Let's hopefully... Oh, let's hopefully not fall into anything this time. There actually was an item at the end of there, so I am going to try to get that again by jumping. Uh, but uh, it also looks like there's a sewer rat we can kill. Uh, right, bonfire there. Okay, let's let's make it through here again. You want to go this way? You want to go down here, through here. There we go. Down here. We're gonna go straight and uh instead of falling down there again, we're gonna try to uh Oh yeah, that's I think there might actually be another way to get that. I'm not gonna try to make that jump, but uh basically we're just gonna go this way, we're gonna go right here, then we're gonna go left. We're going to keep going left and uh, And yeah, we get our soul of a nameless soldier. And there we go right here. That was, oh, that was the item I tried to get earlier. So yeah, we don't even want to go that way or try to make that jump. But yeah, we're going to go. Oh shit, I forgot about this guy. This is going to be a giant rat. Really big rat. Uh, looks hideous. It is actually rotting. It's a giant rotting rat. Okay. Yeah, this this guy isn't all too easy uh, to kill. He's like I think the most powerful rat in the game. But uh, yeah, we're just uh. Yeah, this is a big ass rat. I I think it is a non-respondable enemy though. So once you kill it once, you don't have to deal with it again. But uh, but yeah. And it drops a humanity like all the other rats in this game seem to do. But uh, I mean, that is a good thing, but uh, we got another soul of a nameless soldier, man. We are just getting soul item after soul item. Anyway, what you're going to want to do is when you go down here, do not go to your right, go to your left and fall down. And go to the far left, actually, as far left as you can. Otherwise, you're going to fall down, and then once you go here, you're just going to want to go all the way up here unlock that door at the top and now you have a shortcut to the boss the boss is really close and uh you know i might end this video actually killing this boss we might do like a, a two for one uh boss special this uh time around i mean i could have easily made those two videos uh yeah let's get my, my vitality, I don't know what I want to do. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I'll just get my vitality up for now. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys a uh, another farming route you can take later on in the game because that uh, that 500. Uh, 55 souls you get from that dragon area. That's really not gonna do it anymore. Uh, but there's another farming route where uh, you kill enemies that are worth about 10,500 souls, and you can basically kill like three or four of them each time. But that that's gonna be in a much later area. But we are going to start getting strength and dexterity up at that point, and. Uh, I'm going to do a lot of soul farming off camera. Uh, I also encourage uh, all you guys watching to do some soul farming. But anyway, once we're down here, we're basically going to go here. We don't have to kill any of the enemies. We can just run past them. We're going to go to this door right here. And we are going to get to our next boss. So anyway, once we're here. Uh, anything over here to get? No, that's that's a uh, invisible that wall that... Uh, Okay, we're gonna, before we go down there, there are some things we can collect. Uh, maybe not up here. I mean, I'm just exploring the area. We're gonna go down here. And, okay, I think this might be where we get a... There we go. We have a heavy crossbow, and we have 11 heavy bolts now. Uh, so, yeah, that will come in handy later. Oh, and that does remind me. We are going to buy a lot of poison arrows uh, in the next video for a certain reason. I'm going to... Uh, I'm actually not going to explain it, so I don't spoil it, but I'm going to say we are going to collect a lot of poison arrows in a little bit. Anyway, we're going to walk through this door, and basically we have a new boss to fight. It is called the Gaping Dragon, although I call it the Vagina Monster, because it looks like a gigantic vagina. It, it actually does. Uh, uh, but anyway, we're going to go to the back of it, and basically... We want to cut off its tail. We want to attack the tail. You really do want to do this, at least if you're, uh, if you're trying to go for 100% completion, or you're running a strength build like I am, or a quality build. You're going to want this uh, weapon because it is very good. Uh, you only have to get it once. Once you get it once, uh, you have the weapon forever. You, you're not going to need to cut off uh, the vagina monster's tail again uh, to get it, but yeah. This, this monster is uh, really creepy, as you can see. It looks like, uh, it actually looks like the most terrifying uh, vagina in existence. Uh, but, uh, and I, I know some of you watching this are probably thinking, uh, you're being very immature right now, calling it that, but... And, you know, normally I'd agree with that, but honestly, it, it actually does look like a vagina monster. So, uh, I, I know that, you know, it, it, maybe it is immature to call it that, but that, that's what, honestly, it looks like. So, that's, uh, I'm calling it that, but yeah, we're just going to go to the side. The side is the best place to attack. Uh, the back is actually the best spot to attack once you chop off the tail, but if it has, okay, don't go to this side, I guess. Okay, we're gonna get eaten by the uh, gigantic vagina. Great. Ugh. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. We're gonna go to the back of it, actually. That's gonna be safer, because we don't want it grabbing us. And, bro, this thing is even creepier that has, like, six legs. So it like it makes it kind of insecty as well as like it, it's a dragon with like wings, six legs, and a really creepy mouth that looks like a vagina full of claws that like 
one thing I love about Dark Souls is how creepy the bosses genuinely are. Like, this boss just looks really creepy, really ugly, uh, is made with, like, pure creativity. That's, that's really what I like about Dark Souls, is how creepy and creative everything is. And also how hard it is. I also, I do like how hard Dark Souls is, because it's just... The combat is addictive, and, like, just beating bosses that are really, really hard, like, it feels really good at the end, because you know you've done something that's actually really, really difficult. That's what I love about Dark Souls, honestly. But at times it can be annoying, because you can't die quite a bit. So I'm just gonna heal right now, just, uh, just cause I... Cannon, this guy's almost defeated. I really... Ah! Okay, my weapon's at risk. Yeah, uh, let's hope my weapon doesn't break in beforehand, actually. I really don't want my... Uh, we, we do have the... Uh, this is why I said you should get the weapon repair box. Uh, because if you don't have that, you're going to need to go all the way to Andre to repair this weapon. And uh, you don't want to do that. Uh, just... Because it's inconvenient, and you have to walk from one area to another, and, and you know, it's just, it's not fun to do that. So, thankfully, if we die, we just have to, I will repair it, but we will be able, I, I don't think I'm going to die, I might, I, I hope I do, don't jinx it by saying that, but whatever. Uh, so let's just, I'm just hoping that our weapon doesn't break before the fight's over. I think I think it can actually make it through the fight, but the weapon is at risk. And usually when a weapon is at risk, you want to uh, repair it at that point. Oh shit. One more time, one more hit, there we go. And I think this is 40,000 souls. And a Blade Town key, all right. There we go, we got a homeward bone, and we got quid humanities. Now, something I'm going to explain about this boss really quickly is that uh, if you are having trouble beating it, it is not required in the game if you picked a master key as your starting gift. If you have a master key as your starting gift, um, you don't actually technically have to beat this boss. Oh, it doesn't actually give us 40,000, it gives us about... 20,000. Okay, I thought it was 40,000 for some reason, but um, you can all obviously like come to this boss when you're higher powered, but if you're having difficulty beating it, it's not required if you have the master key. But basically, we got the key to Blight Town, and uh, we are going to go to Blight Town in uh, probably video after the next video I am going to show you how to really upgrade uh, some stuff but we're gonna walk around this area there's a an armor set you can get if we go to the edge here I think this area is just um, yeah that's just a ditch don't go there and now my voice is really hurting because of how much talking I've done today just playing through Dark Souls. Man, that actually doesn't feel good at all. Wow. Anyway, uh, now I'm just gonna walk back. If you're like really low on health, like really low, you can just homeward bone your way out. Uh, I'm not low on health at all and I can confidently make it out, but if you're like if you have, like, hardly any health left, I recommend just, uh, Homeward Boning out, just so you don't risk losing those precious, precious souls. Yeah, because we're gonna get some levels up, I'm probably gonna get my vitality up a bit, my endurance up a bit. Yeah, we're going to want to be probably at least level 60 or 70 when fighting the 
boss later in the game. Okay, where the fuck do I go? Uh, I need to find my way out of this place. Huh. Wait, no. Oh, okay, that's right. It's through here. There. Yep. There we go. That's how we do it. Man, that's uh, that's an hour twenty minute long video. Yeah, these are these are pretty long videos, although you know, for anyone who actually wants to beat the game, though, it is going to take a long time anyway. I mean, this is not a short game at all. It's not going to take a short time at all. I probably could have just done this in two parts, but yeah, whatever. It's not that big of a deal. We're gonna come over to this bonfire. We're gonna level up. We can get three levels. Man, I, I really hate how many souls we have to get now just to level up. Let's get this to 20. Let's get this to 20. That, that sounds like a good plan. Uh, and then we'll get... Uh, everything else up to 40 eventually. I mean, my end goal here is to uh, get vitality up to, I'm probably going to try to get vitality up to 25, possibly up to 30. I'm going to try to get endurance probably just up to 25. I'm probably not going to try to get that up anymore, but I'm going to get Dexterity up to 18, and then I'm going to get uh, Strength up to, I think 32 is a good number, uh, but I'm going to try to get like 12 levels into Endurance. Uh, by the time we hit 50, we're going to, I'm just going to add that all up, so 30 Vitality, that's going to be 10 levels. It's going to be 5 levels to get endurance up, so that's going to be 15, plus 8, so that's going to be 23, 25, so I'm really going to want to be at like level 64, I think. I think I did the math right. Uh, that weapon that we just got, I'm going to talk about it. And I'm also going to look up real quick, because I don't know the exact requirements, but this right here, the Dragon King Great Axe. Now, the Dragon King Great Axe is a really good, um, really good weapon, but it has a very high strength requirement. In fact, I need 34, okay. Oh no, we need, oh shit, we need 50 to one hand this weapon. Oh wow, okay, so we're going to need to get up about 30 levels of just pure strength. I, huh. Yeah, we might go for a different weapon actually, because that is, that is a very, very high level. I thought it was like 32, but you know, um, it's still a good weapon to have. And uh, it's also required to 100% the game. Most people watching this are probably not trying to 100% the game. But in our next video, before we go into Light Town, we are going to level up. Because from my experience, that is when the Drake Sword becomes useless. Is once you start to go into um, Light Town. And uh, I'm going to do a bunch of research after this video. And uh, yeah, next video is just going to be uh, leveling up. And shit, that's really it. We're just going to level up everything. And it's basically just going to be a prepare video. And uh, yeah, I'm probably going to do some uh, soul farming as well. But, uh, but one final thing I'm going to do before ending this video is I'm going to go back to Firelink Shrine that 
is basically just gonna be it just because I don't want to start the next video just getting out of here I, I'm just going to get us out of here we're just gonna go across the hall it's just the area where we came from we're really just backtracking and uh, and yeah normally in this game you are supposed to immediately go from the depths to uh, Blight Town. But before we actually go to Blight Town, we're going to level up anyway. And if you did pick the Master Key as your starting gift, um, we're actually going to go in another entrance. We're not actually going to go and use the... Uh, the Blight Count key at all. A Pyromancer is still here. Okay, I, I think it will be back in Firelink though. I'm a little bit worried about when he's going to end up there, but... Da, 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 da. Uh, thankfully, I didn't have to use any purging stones. Um, I'm glad about that. Uh, there will be more Basilisks later on in uh, the game. Uh, but the next time we see a basilisk, those things that we need purging stones for because they curse you, we're not going to see those for a very long time. It'll probably be like, you know, like, probably like 10 videos. No, probably not 10. Probably like 5 or 8. And, you know, even the area we're going to go to is technically speaking optional. You don't actually have to go there to beat the game, but we are going to go there just uh, to get another dragon scale and uh, to get another covenant. Uh, so, yeah. But, yeah, we're actually, we are wrapping up the uh, the early game. We're about to go into Sense Fortress, and once we get to Sense Fortress, that ba that basically just wraps up uh, the entire early game. And uh, I know I've been saying Sense Fortress a lot, but it's going to be really when the game actually starts to become hard, and uh, like it actually starts to become hard once you get to Sense fortress and that's probably freaking some people out because uh, this game is already hard even in the part that we're at uh, but trust me it's going to get about twice as hard I would say I would say about twice as hard <laughs> yeah I'm just gonna end this video off with traveling to Firelink Shrine resting at bonfire and, uh, that's really going to be the end of this, uh, this video. Yeah, we're just going to go all the way back to Firelink, and then once we're here, we're just going to have an entire video of just leveling up, because the next area we're supposed to go through is Blight Town, and, uh, uh, we're also going the easy way, uh, through Blight Town, uh, the reason we're going the easy way is because uh, I'm just, it, it only applies if you have the master key, so uh, basically uh, might also explain what to do if you don't have the master key, but I'm trying to make this a uh, video series. Uh, there we go, there's our, there is our sorcerer, we can buy sorceries. Um, I think you have to have level 10 intelligence to uh, buy from him. So I think you have to have at least an intelligence of level 10. I may be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure your intelligence has to be level 10. Um, yeah, and mine is level 10. If your intelligence is lower than that because you picked a different starting class, um, I don't really recommend getting it up to 10 just to get the All Sorceries achievement just because uh, you should really only do that after beating all the main bosses, but that really wraps up uh, this video and, and we are at 
pretty much approaching the one hour 30 minute mark uh another thing i'm just going to explain really quickly here's a pyromancer uh i'm gonna be buying a lot of stuff from him we're just gonna press yes oh wait no we're not gonna press yes he asks you a weird trick question but uh yes there we go and now you can uh you can purchase different pyromancies that do different things and uh actually i'm just gonna get this up to plus one plus two yeah there we go i'm just gonna spend uh some souls here and that's basically just going to wrap up this video man that was a long one i do hope you enjoyed thank you for watching and uh peace out